welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy, so I'm really excited to bring you guys another group flip. I'm going to be transforming this scarf. I actually found it at my local thrift store. I really like silk scarves, but this is a 100% polyester scarf, and it was actually made in Korea. You can tell it's a vintage scarf because the label is embroidered. I love the trend of just tying a scarf many different ways, but I don't feel very secure in it, so I wanted to show you guys how to make a cowl neck top out of it and with some straps so it keeps everything in place. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. My scarf measures 45 by 45 inches. So I take one corner and just fold it down. I measure from the top fold to the bottom corner about 14 inches is my desired length. Since scarves are made on the bias, your fold is naturally on the bias already. Make sure the top fold is a perfect roll and not twisting at all. Next, pin down one corner and just do a little slash the bottom and just tear. That's how I find the straight grain and get a perfect angle. When you get to the bottom corner, just do another slash and tear in the other direction and now you have a smaller square I wanted an even square so I just measured the shortest side and I got 19 and a half so I just marked every other side 19 and a half with the extra I just slashed and tore the excess off so every side was equal. In order to clean finish the two raw edges, I'm doing a baby hem. So I first do a basting stitch all the way down both edges and I do it as close as possible so I'm about 3 16ths of an inch away from the edge. Next, I do a double fold, so I fold once on that stitch line and then fold that width again. And I just do this all the way across those raw edges and just pin everything down. Take it to your sewing machine and do a top stitch as close as possible to that other sewing line. I'm about a sixteenth of an inch away. And you have a really nice looking baby hem. Most silk scarves are hemmed by hand, but you can just do it with the machine and it looks just as nice. Fold your scarf matching your corners and mark seven and a half inches on the fold. Measure four and a half inches on the hem and connect those two marks and pin those layers together. This is the measurement that works for my body, but it can always be adjusted. And I'm just repeating these steps to the other side. I sew those lines with my overlock machine, but you can just use a straight stitch machine and then do a zigzag stitch to finish your ends. And then I fold over 5 8 of an inch and iron just so I can get a nice crease. And I pin everything down. After pinning down your channels on the inside of your top, just stitch down a half an inch away on your regular sewing machine. And don't forget to back tack. A 
it's time to make spaghetti straps so I take the leftover fabric and just tear so I have one long side I measure an inch and a half and slash and then tear so I get perfectly even strips I do this for three strips so I have a total measurement of about 130 inches when I sew these together I stitch all the pieces together so if you're just using a regular sewing machine you can just sew a half inch seam allowance and just back tack and then fold right sides together and stitch a half inch and trim your seam allowance. I like using my overlocker for spaghetti but a regular sewing machine works just as well. After sewing your spaghetti, you want to take a safety pin and pin it to one end on the seam allowance and then just start feeding it through and turning it inside out. It's just a push and pull motion. It kind of takes a little bit to get it started, but once you do, it's pretty easy. After turning it inside out, I like to just give it a good press so it lays really flat. You have really nice spaghetti. Now take your top and you're going to want to feed it through these channels. So take one end of your spaghetti and pin a safety pin to it. Feed it from the hem to the top of the fold and feed it through the other channel now so that you have a loop at the top to go over your neck and i'm just adjusting everything so both ends are even so the loop goes over your neck and the back straps tie around your back and I like to finish my straps by tying a knot, so it's like a little tassel. This is the cowl top on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys can recreate this, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.